Okay, today we're talking about the Fresco BACnet over IP client release. This is the latest firmware release for the Fresco touchscreen. And the purpose of the Fresco BACnet client is in order to integrate with an NECY NLight system. So you can have profiles on the NECY trigger a Fresco action or have the Fresco trigger a profile on the NECY. The best use case for either of these is scheduling. I can use SensorView as my single scheduling interface for the entire building, including my rooms with Fresco. Or I could use a Fresco touchscreen on the wall as my graphical interface to adjust building-wide schedules across Fresco and Enlight devices. So if you want to set this up, the first step in either application is to set up your Enlight network. So with your NECY, you'll connect your bridges and all of the devices in the rooms as you would normally do for an installation. Then you'll go into sensor view, make sure to name all of your devices, and then create the profiles that you need containing those devices with or without a schedule. And again, depending on which system is your scheduling system. Once that's set up, the one additional piece of information you need is the BACnet instance ID of your NECY. And that can be found by logging on to the NECY admin console, going to the BACnet tab, and right there you can see the BACnet instance ID. In this case, it's 1007. With that information in hand, I can connect the two systems over Ethernet, Click. Okay, now that you've connected the two systems and you know your BACnet instance ID of your NECY, you'll come over to the Fresco, go to Menu, Setup, scroll down to get to BACnet Client, and tap to add a BACnet device. Type in the BACnet ID 1007, hit OK. You'll see that it pulls the name from the NECY same name you see over Wi-Fi. You'll expand this. It'll tell you that it is configured and online. And you can expand read remote property in order to set up the NECY to control the Fresco. So I'll tap to add remote property objects. It will load the full list of points from the NECY. Once that loads, I'll tap filter, type in profile, Hit OK. It'll filter that list down to just the ones that contain the word profile. In this case, I'm going to connect to the trigger fresco profile state. Hit OK. You'll see that's now added to my list of points. Expand that. Now I need to tell it what fresco object that profile will trigger. So I'll go to Control. Set it to Control a scene. Hit OK. It'll be a scene in room A, specifically the lights on scene. Now that that's added, I'll hit close. Then you can see if I activate the profile on the end light side, the light will turn on and the scene will be activated. If I deactivate the profile, the scene is deactivated and the light turns off in both cases honoring the fade time that's set up on the fresco. So now to set up the other direction where the fresco triggers a profile on the NECY. Go back into menu, setup, scroll down to BACnet client, expand the NECY, and this time we're going to do a write remote property. So I'll tap to add. It will load the list of points from the NECY. Again, I will filter to only points that contain the word profile. And then I'll select CLX off. That profile, that BACnet point for that profile has now been added to the list. I'll expand that. Go down to mapped object type to connect a fresco object to control that point. I want it to be a scene. 
And now the mapped object will be a scene in room A, specifically NECY off. Back at the home screen, you can then toggle the profile on the eclipse using the NECY off scene. See the light went off on the end light side. You can toggle it back on. The lights come back on. And since this is a fresco scene, it can be controlled by any fresco input device. It could be an RB, it could be an NPOD M, or another fresco touchscreen. So I could use the button 2 on the RB here to toggle that profile off. There we go, the light went off, or toggle it back on. And the light's back on. Perfect. These are the two primary use cases for Fresco BackNet Client. So the important thing to keep in mind in both cases is all the rules of Enlight profiles still apply, looking at priority and also looking at latency. So Enlight profiles, when you set up multiple, you can have different priorities and the highest priority profile on each device will win. From the Fresco's point of view, it's just tracking the profile in a profile active or profile inactive state. So all of the profiles that the NECY is using to determine which one is highest priority will be active and that will need to be taken into account in your Fresco programming. And the second thing is that the latency that you have with a profile rollout on an NLight job today is the same that you'll see when that is triggered from the BACnet client. So take that into account in your designs. When you're ready to download this, you'll find the new version of Fresco Studio, as well as the Fresco touchscreen firmware through the firmware software update interface of Fresco Studio. And if you have any issues or any questions, please reach out to tech support. Thank you so much for tuning in today.